After carrying out relentless airstrikes on the Gaza Strip, Israel's Defense Minister Yoav Gallant has told his men to get ready for a ground offensive. The same was echoed by Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu when he met the soldiers, calling on them to fight till victory is secured. Israel has massed tens of thousands of troops along the border with Gaza following the October 7 cross-border massacre by Hamas militants. Meeting Israel's infantry soldiers on the Gaza border, Israel's Defense Minister Yoav Gallant urged the troops to be organized and ready to enter the Gaza Strip. However, he did not mention when the invasion would begin. <laughs> Meanwhile, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu also met with combat soldiers at the Gaza border. He reaffirmed the troops that the entire state of Israel stands behind them and vowed to emerge victorious after the war. אני פה עם הלוחמים של גולני, הם באים מכל חלקי הארץ, הם לחמו כמו אריות, אם ילחמו כמו אריות, אתם מוכנים להמשך? כן! אנחנו הולכים לנצח בכל העוצמה, אתם מוכנים? כן! כל עם ישראל עומד מאחריכם, ואנחנו ניתן את המכה הקשה לאויבים שלנו כדי שנשיג ניצחון, לה ניצחון. מוכנים? כן! Meanwhile, as Israel continues to pound Gaza, new satellite images show a number of people taking shelter in schools and hospitals around Gaza City. Now, as the war drags on with no peace inside, the concerns over its expansion remain. The conflict has already spilled into the wider West Asian region and many Iran-backed militant groups are seen to be involved. And the heavy U.S. presence in the region, its involvement in the war is in their crosshairs. In the latest, the Pentagon says that a U.S. Navy warship intercepted three cruise missiles and several drones launched by the Iran-backed Houthi movement from Yemen. Though the Pentagon said that it has no certainty of the target of the drones and missiles, but they were potentially bound for Israel. To that end, the crew of the guided missile destroyer USS Kearney, operating in the northern Red Sea earlier today, shot down three land attack cruise missiles and several drones that were launched by Houthi forces in Yemen. This action was a demonstration of the integrated air and missile defense architecture that we have built in the Middle East and that we are prepared to utilize whenever necessary to protect our partners and our interests in this important region. There were no casualties to U.S. forces and none that we know of to any civilians on the ground. And while U.S. President Joe Biden was in Israel on Wednesday, U.S. military forces in Iraq were targeted in two separate drone attacks, with one causing injuries to a small number of troops. The Islamic resistance in Iraq began, and Iran-backed group claimed the responsibility for the attacks. Meanwhile, tensions are already soaring in northern Israeli front between Israel and Iran-backed Hezbollah group in Lebanon. In the latest, the Lebanese army is alleged that a journalist was killed by Israeli gunfire on Thursday in a southern Lebanon border area. On the other hand, Israel's military said earlier that its forces had targeted Hezbollah infrastructure and struck three people who attempted to launch anti-tank missiles at Israel. On the Lebanese army's allegations, Israel says it is investigating the matter. Meanwhile, Israel's military is evacuating 28 communities near the northern border with Lebanon because of escalating tensions. And Saudi Arabia has advised its nationals in Lebanon to leave the country immediately. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.